Today I have in front of me a very well taken care of Galaxy S7. The worst part about it is that the camera lens is cracked, so you can't take pictures. The rest of the phone still works fine, but with the cracked camera lens, you're missing one of the most important features of the phone. Today I'm going to show you how to replace the camera glass with a new lens, so that you can take clear pictures again. The hardest part of this project is making sure that no glass dust gets inside the camera unit, and I'll show you why in just one second. It is really hard to find quality glass lenses. Most replacements you'll find online will be clear plastic that you can bend or fold, but taking a picture through plastic isn't near as good as taking a picture through glass. I use bona fide hardware glass lenses because they are actually glass. I got two so that I could show you that the glass is real. This lens fits the Galaxy S7 and the Galaxy S7 Edge. Both of them are the same size. I will link the bona fide hardware lenses in the video description of this video. You'll need a heat gun for this project. This is important because you want to soften the adhesive under the broken glass so it doesn't shatter more as you remove it. The more your old lens shatters, the more you risk getting glass into the camera mechanism and killing your focus abilities and your OIS, the stabilization. I'm also going to use a clear piece of tape. I'm going to take my heat gun, or you can use your sister's hair dryer, and heat up the glass of the camera lens until it's too hot to touch. Then I will quickly put tape over the cracked lens and try to pull off any loose bits of glass that I can find. If you end up with a hole in your lens, this project becomes a lot easier. I got one little piece of glass off, but that'll be enough to start. Now that the glass has cooled down, I need to reheat it to soften the adhesive again. Then holding the phone sideways so no glass falls inside the camera unit, I can lift off each piece of glass individually. The warmer the adhesive is, the easier it will be to do this. You can warm up the phone as often as you need, just make sure not to overheat and damage the camera. Only go until it is barely too hot to touch. As you can see, the lens is mechanical, so it has moving parts. If the glass dust gets inside of the camera, it will stop working. The OIS will stop, and worse, the focusing will stop. Sometimes it'll start focusing again after a couple days when the glass drops out, but it's better to avoid that altogether and just be careful. So now I'm going to clean up the extra adhesive and the glass bits inside of the frame. If there are any glass bits still in there when I press my new lens into place, the new lens will crack because of that pressure point. So make sure all the glass dust is off. If there are gaps in the adhesive from the new lens that you put on, then regular dust from your pocket might seep into your camera lens over time. So make sure it's as clean as possible and don't get anything on the unprotected camera unit. Clean off both sides of the new glass lens, making sure there are no smudges on the underside, since you won't have access to it once the new glass is in place. Remember that you are working with glass, so if you aren't super confident, you might just want to buy two lenses in case you break one. You shouldn't leave your camera unprotected for very long. Make sure the adhesive is still on the glass side of the lens after you remove the adhesive protection. Then drop your new lens into place and line it up inside of the frame. Remember if you press too hard you might crack the new glass, so be gentle. As you can see, I did retain all of my focusing abilities with this Galaxy S7. Being super careful with the glass dust does pay off. Thanks a ton for watching, I did link all of the parts and tools you need for this project down in the video description below. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments, I do respond fairly regularly. And all of my behind the scenes stuff can be found on my Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat. Thanks a ton for watching, hope to see you around.